Hello chaps, Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 One Quest at a Time. So, what are we going to be doing in today's episode? Well, let's, uh, let's start by recapping the last episode. We so went we off to Diamond this? City and did Confidence Man. We helped this guy named Travis, the DJ there, uh, shore up his confidence a little bit by uh, committing murder, basically. And uh, that went really well. But in that process, we ran into a chap at the Dugout Inn in Diamond City, Can't and he wanted us to fun. come meet his, I guess it's his boss, uh, Cabot, and uh, he mentioned something about working for them, which, uh, I don't know about working for them, maybe with them, if you know what I mean. But we do need to head down here to the Cabot house. And let me pull up the quest real quick. Uh, it's called Special Delivery. So we need to talk to Jack Cabot. So let's head over to Pickman's Gallery and work our way over to the Cabot house. And I will see you chaps there. Alrighty, chaps. Here we are at Pickman's Gallery, the place we got our, our special knife, our stabbing knife. Ha <laughs> ha! But, uh... <clears throat> I'm losing my mind. Uh, let's just leave the knife out for now. So let's start heading over to the Cabot House, which is west of here. Maybe we'll get into some fun battles on the way there. I'm really liking this, uh, this modification that we put on our leg armor. We can sprint for quite a while now. Even without our sea captain's hat increasing our endurance. What do you guys think? Uh, this helmet? Come on, turn around. There we go. What do you guys like better? This helmet or the sea captain's hat? I'm, I'm really torn. I think this one has a better affix than plus two to endurance, which is cool. And it's nice to have a legendary in our head slot, but I miss the sea captain's hat. It was just such a dapper look. But uh, yeah, if you'd like to see the, the sea captain's hat back, just let me know. You just let me know, boo, and I'll see what I can do. Oh, hello. Stay off the grass. <laughs> no. Be advised, you are being watched. Yes, who are you? Stay off the grass. Oh, what grass? Hmm. I've killed one of you guys before. You should, uh... Oh. Oh, that's hostile. Are you going to shoot me? What's going on? Why are you hostile but not attacking? All right. Well, he's just chilling. That's fine. Go away. No. Not go away. The fuck is your problem? What are you looking at? Jack Cabot? I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Ah, my reputation precedes me. That's satisfying. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Okay. Ooh. Well, this is nice. This is actually a very rare, nice home in the Commonwealth. I appreciate that. And hey, this is the guy that we met last episode. What's your name again? Sounds good. What's your name? Tell me! Tell me your name or I'm gonna stab you with my shotgun! Ha <laughs> ha! That's one... That's one nice beard Jack, right there. The new guy is here. One moment, one moment. You just have to... Whoa. He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello! Hello, Welcome Jack! To Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Jack? And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, Great. the good bourbon, eh? Awesome. Oh, Jack, I like you already. Please. So have much so that I'm even going to put my weapon away. And refrain from stealing from you. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... Don't interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Edward, that's his name. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? 
Yes. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Yeah, yeah. Seems uh, apt. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. Thanks, Jack. You're officially hired. I like you, man. Congratulations. You seem like a smart man. Um... Well, this is weird. Ugh. Here we go. Alright, so... Let's get All to right, work. ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Yeah, Jack we're owns all crazy. a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Nope. I hope you have more to go on than that. Don't worry. I don't expect you to do the impossible. Not on your first day. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yeah, yeah. Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Awesome. Uh, so we actually came across the Parson State Insane Asylum in an earlier episode. I think it was episode 8 with the Death Claws. And it really stuck out in my memory. It seems like a really well-designed area. So this quest is probably going to be awesome. Let's go. Whoops. at yeah that's what I thought yeah you stay there be advised you are being watched be advised you are being watched you keep talking to me like that and you're gonna meet my stabbing arm all right you keep Jack safe I like him he's cool and Edward too all right chaps so uh, we've got the Parson State Insane Asylum up here in the northwestern corner of the map so let's head up there and see what there is to see all right here we go this is cool oh hello are you friendly you seem friendly Maria this place is off limits you'd best move along yeah no Edward Deegan sent me I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks, Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, oh, we get to go stab some stuff. All right, so we're heading that direction. Just 
gonna look at my map, see how far we have to run. Not far at all. Ha ha! Ha ha! All right, let's go. What's that? What's that? This place is huge. I was kind of hoping we'd get to clear out this place. Oh, what's that? Oh, you know what that is. It's a thumbnail. Thumbnails. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah, you're welcome, future me. Yup. Alright. Let's start heading north. Anything in here? No. God, I can't even imagine playing this game in third person the whole time. What's that? Oh, dead guy, alright. I wish it was nighttime. Yeah. Stab. Stab. Stab! Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Captain Kirk? That's good, boy. That's good. You hide there. Oh, dear. Please don't be ferals again. Yeah. Nothing there now. He won't like it much when I tell him how much yeah. he'll back. When he yeah, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Here we go. <laughs> 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 One shot. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. All right. One stab wasn't enough. I need to stab more. Oh, well, hello. Will you hello. Turn up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stab. 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 Go down, bitch. Go down. Ah! Ooh, mystery serum. Oh, minus thirty-six thousand rats. Plus five to strength buff, and a fifty damage resist buff. That's good. That's really fucking good. Ooh, I wonder if we get the recipe for that and we can make it at the chem station. I would be all about that. All about that this a basketball Ooh, captain Mer kirk might enjoy playing with that what else do we have picture there uh, just an advanced safe i really like how we finally got master safe picking and haven't found a master safe since then yes and by i really like it i i don't actually want it. that was sarcasm Alright, is there anything else here to take? Looks like there's an upstairs. Oh, hello. Hello. Ha <laughs> ha! Yup. Got it. Got it! Six missiles, very nice. Don't do that. Give me my health back. Disappearing act. Huh? It's my water now. You can hide. I'm just gonna take all this stuff. I'm coming for your little dog, <gasps> You stay away from my dog, bitch! I'm gonna straight up murder you! That's how it's done. Where are you? Whoa. Did Captain Kirk do that? Wouldn't surprise me one little bit. You fucking bitch. You little bitch. This is for my dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. You okay, boy? Here's a stim pack, buddy. You're gonna be fine. I love you, Captain Kirk. You're mine now. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Stab! Stab! 
Step, 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 step. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh must have happened one. Hey, hey. Stop that. Oh, you bitch. Uh-oh, this is bad. This is a bad position to be in. All right, let's just unload. Hopefully we can disarm them. Crit. Yeah. We're gonna have to run! Oh no! We're just gonna get shot in the face and die! That really sucks! Oh, good thing we took that nap! Oh, here we go. John, you better be worth it! Oh, oh, oh. And stand! You bitch. bitch! You're about to die! Crit! Ha ha! Stay up! Stay up! Oh yeah. That's so good. I love to stab. Heal. Alright. Let's just wait for the AP to come back. Stop shooting me, you bitch! What did I do? Other than stab your face. Do you not like stabbing as much as I do? Disappearing act. <laughs> huh? There you are, you little bastard. Ow! Oh, God, that was a mistake. That was an enormous mistake. That didn't help at all. All right, all right. Let's eat some mole rat. Drink some water. Because that's all you need to do to shake off of a grenade explosion, apparently. Yeah! Here we go. Here we go. Crit! Oh, good, good, good. We disarmed it. Yeah, stab! Stab! Crit! Stab! Stab! And run! Now we run. Now we run. Give up now! Hey, boy. It's gonna be okay. Here you go. I love you, boy. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, go get it. Okay. Put that down! Put that down! Nobody said you could have a weapon! Stab! Crit! Crit! Stab! Stab me, Crit! Oh. Yeah! 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 Crit! Hey, you're about to die, bitch! Bleed out! Yeah! Oh, that was fucking close! That was so close! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, we got an enraging Chinese officer's sword. Critical hits cause target to frenzy. Oh, that's fucking cool. Don't need any of that garbage. You okay, buddy? All right. All right, I'm gonna go take another nap upstairs. I'll see you guys in a second. Ah, refreshing. Nothing like an hour of sleep on a dirty mattress after a, a good gunfight, right? Right? Okay, so, uh, we seem to be all done here. I think we picked up all the looty loots, so let's head back and say hi to Jack. Or maybe Edward, we'll find out. Hello. Hi there. I got one of you at home. Hello there. Hello there. How are you? Hey, big guy. You keeping Jack safe? Stay off the grass. There is no grass, you fucking idiot. Why don't you go plant some? Acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, mother. Do you know where she is? So did you no. find out what happened that to the courier? Is missing, and I want yeah, her I, I, I don't want what any part of that conversation. Not to keep the family safe. Uh, mother, Edward has better uh, things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Some raiders I set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Yeah, it did. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. 
That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Oh, we gotta we gotta meet Wilhelmina. Jack. The name is Wilhelmina, anyways. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> no matter how Listen, old you get, you always get schooled by your mom. Impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Imogene is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Hmm. Sounds like my type. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Sounds good, man. Sounds Got good. Got it. Off to Good Neighbor, then. Awesome. All right. So, we picked up a quest for next episode. We get to go say hi to our good friend in Good Neighbor. Whatever his name was. The guy with the uh, with the stabbing arm, just like us. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap this up for today. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button for me. Or you can leave a comment. Any old comment will do. And it does help the channel grow. Or you can subscribe for more of my content. Either way, I will see you guys next time with more Fallout 4.